There are two versions of the Box Vidra emulator, the native version and the P-Root version. Currently, we only have access to the native version, but that's okay because the main difference is in the theme options. The native version offers original Windows 10 themes and some classic themes like Windows 7 and 95. The P-Root version includes Windows 11 themes, but keep in mind they aren't the real deal. Before we begin, Please check the system requirements to ensure your device can run the software. Make sure you have Android 10 or above. If your phone has a Snapdragon 6, 5, 5 or higher, such as the 8, 8, 8, 7 or 8 series, that's ideal, but don't worry. Mali and other chipsets are also supported. You'll need at least 3 gigabytes of RAM, with 8 to 12 gigabytes recommended, and 4 to 5 gigabytes of available storage space on your device for the system files. Now let's move on to the installation process. First, Head over to the Box Vidra GitHub page. The link is provided in the description. On the download page, scroll down to the installation section, where you'll find three apps, Termux, Termux X11, and Input Bridge. These are essential for installing and running Box Vidra on your Android device. Download these apps one by one. Once downloaded, install them sequentially. If this is your first time installing apps from outside the Play Store, you may need to allow installation from unknown sources. Now, as you can see, I've successfully installed Termux, Termux X11, and Input Bridge. At first, we will configure the graphics settings via Termux X11. From the home screen, long press on the Termux X11 app and select Preferences. Open out up settings. Under display settings, change the resolution mode from native to exact and adjust the resolution as per your preference. A higher resolution will slow down performance, while a lower one will speed things up. I prefer using 1280 by 720 for balance. Also, enable stretch to fit and full screen mode. Next, launch the Termux app and grant the necessary permissions for notification. We need to execute a command to start the installation. Go back to the GitHub page, copy the command, and return to Termux. Long press in Termux to paste the command, then hit enter. Termux will begin installing the necessary packages. This process typically takes 5 to 10 minutes, so just wait for it to complete. After a minute, you'll see a pop-up saying you're about to add the Box Vidra emulator. Tap OK and wait for the setup to complete, which should take another 5 to 10 minutes. After a brief wait, you'll see two options, Box 64 GPSY version and Bo 64 GPSY edition. I recommend choosing the Bo 64 option. Use the arrow keys to select it, then tap enter. This process took about 5 minutes, but the BOW64 GPSY version is now successfully added to the Box Vidra emulator. Press enter to proceed. Now, once the setup is finished, type the command, Box Vidra native. This will unlock or launch the Box Vidra emulator, and it will take a moment to load. You'll see the complete version along with settings and package management options. Let's check the Wine version being used. We're using Wine 9.3 Vanilla Bow 64, which is quite stable. Scrolling down, you'll find some settings, including dynamic settings we used in the MUX simulator. I recommend using the Fortified Dynamic preset for optimal performance. Now let's check out the themes. You'll see the Windows 10 theme and Windows 95 theme available in this native version. Choose your preferred theme. I will make complete video how to install game on Box Vidra emulator, so keep touch. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Join our Discord server if you need any help. See you in the next video. Take care.